plugin of the week is the Maserati GRP. Maserati GRP is, stands for groups, and um, the idea of this plugin is meant specifically to be designed for group processing. So, um, in working with um, a mix stems, um, what you're really doing is you're taking individual groupings of instruments and you're running them into auxiliary channels. And uh, those auxiliary channels of drums, keys, guitars, vocals, etc., um, then get mixed into a master channel. And so this is a process that has been being used for quite a long time. And in particular, probably most effectively since the 90s, when consoles started to come out with um, multiple stereo buses that would allow you to blend multiple groups um, into a single stereo mix. And there was some of this in the 80s. Um, in particular, the SSL 6000 console had three stereo mix buses. Um, but, um, you know, combining them together was a whole other thing. Uh, the 8000 series SSL consoles had four stereo buses that could be blended into a stereo mix, mostly designed for surround, but you could do it this way. Um, and, you know, J and K series SSL consoles were big with this. Um, Neve, many of the Neve consoles of the 80s and 90s also had these capabilities. And so what people did was they would put insert points on this grouping of drums and, and keys and guitars and etc. And so this Maserati um, plugin from the Signature Series is designed uh, to basically work accordingly, to work just like that. And so what there are here are a bunch of presets which give certain sonic characteristics. You have one for drums, one for drums programmed or versus drums live, guitars, strings, keys, uh, background vocals, and for the master mix bus. And each one has different preset settings. So you see similar types of things with many of the um, uh, signature series other than the Manny Marikin. All of the other ones seem to have like some kind of similar thing here. And what it is is we have some form of an EQ or like a multi-band uh, processing type of thing. Uh, so these different areas will change based off of the settings that you select and what is most appropriate. A compression knob, in a sensitivity, which determines how active the processing is, and then uh, an output level control. So if we start with some basic bass and drums here, the way that we would work it is we would basically start by setting our input sensitivity so we were getting enough gain coming into the plugin so it's lighting up green so the processing is being triggered and then we would kind of work with our different settings so we could start with compression so when you do this you're only doing it by ear so this is only showing input or level or output level and this is on a DBFS scale, so you're not seeing gain reduction over here. And then I could do a relative processing. Or I could add high end, low end, mid range. So obviously we're, we're going to balance the output level here. And this gives me like the ability to kind of add a little bit of presence to what I have going on. So let's move on to um, our next section here, our next group. And uh, in this one, um, if I don't uh, um, uh, so just kind of unbypass it here, um, with this guy, um, we're going to work with some keys. And so the sounds here. So this triggers a little bit more actively, okay, then do the drums, which is going to respond more to peak energy. So when the processing is, when the, when the LED is not lit, it's not doing much. When it's green, it's good. Yellow, sort of medium, and red, the processing becomes more excessive.
So I'm just trying to balance because when I adjust this input sensitivity, all right, I need to adjust the output accordingly to kind of balance it out. And here I can add a little presence. So this high frequency would be like different than what would be for the drums. All right, so this low end is not as low maybe as the bass and, and the, the live drum setting. Now, his general approach is not to have like an excessive amount of compression on these particular tracks, okay? Which is similar kind of to what, uh, what I like to do. So I'll just take these guys here and keyboard that's sticking out there a bit. And then I also have some uh, vocals here, so I can work on this and then work on this. And now what uh, I would expect here, I'll just do this as, uh, okay, so we have our uh, background vocals, I guess is what we'll use. We don't have a lead vocal uh, stem here. So this has some built-in settings. And uh, so I think I may need to move up to the actual verse section here and see if I can loop that around. Soon it shall pass the wine in your glass, a scratch in your throat, honey hands. It will be fair, the moon is brand new. So you'll notice that it adds a presence. It's it's not like this enormously, you know, like hugely different sound, but it's going to add some depth and presence with the compression and equalization too. So um, the frequencies again here, if we kind of play through some of these Do different set, settings it here. Shall pass the wine in your glass. Add a nice air, but not harshness. That's a little bit harsher here in the mid range. This adds a body, but not a muddiness. So if you're looking for extreme settings here, you're not really necessarily going to find them in it you know that's not the the whole idea and not his approach but here's like the So you can see how that brings out a lot of the energy there, which is kind of cool. And then um, here uh, we can also do one for the master channel. And so this would be uh, a mix bus uh, compressor. So if we kind of... Wow, that seems to be loud. All right, so let's just see uh, what we have going on uh, here. This shouldn't be any different. Probably the preset is a lot of highs. Go with and without.
So you get a sense here for um, for the idea of the plugin and what it's meant to do. So it's not really something that's going to add like a brittleness or harshness. It's meant to some degree to be more of a tonal shaping kind of plugin, which uh, I think is really good for a group and, and drum processing. Uh, as with a lot of the Maserati effects, there's a warmth um, and depth and character that's kind of uh, part of him that's not totally vintage, but, but certainly a mixture of a lot of vintage components that are in there. So, um, and a really cool one. So this is actually a good plugin um, to uh, put on and move, play around with, particularly if you're not, um, if you don't really understand or have a particular favorite bus compressor or processing chain for stems and, and those types of things, this is actually a good way of kind of dialing in some sounds quickly and uh, being able to add a little spark and a little bit of life uh, to a mix that you've spent a bit of time working on. This can help to bring out a bit more depth and a bit more juice out of the total mix. So uh, there we have it, the uh, Maserati Groups or Maserati uh, GRP uh, of the Signature Series uh, by Waves.